Hi, I'm Doug Young, contributing editor with Acoustic Guitar, and today we're going to take a look at Taylor's new 8-string baritone guitar. Uh, the 8-string is a unique instrument that combines elements from a 12-string guitar with the low rumble of a long-scale baritone guitar. This uh, guitar is based on Taylor's Grand Symphony body, uh, the GS, but that's where the similarities end. Let's take a look at the details. As you can see, the guitar has eight tuning pegs, and the way the strings are arranged is that the third and fourth strings are in pairs, uh, octaves, just as they would be on a 12 string. But the guitar also has a long 27 inch scale and is designed to be used with heavy strings that are tuned down to B. The baritone eight string follows Taylor's 800 series construction and appointments. As such, it's made with solid Indian rosewood back and sides and a solid Sitka spruce top. It also has an ebony fretboard and bridge and a bone saddle. The guitar comes with Taylor's Expression System Electronics as standard equipment. Uh, this package consists of a dual pickup system with onboard controls for volume, bass, and treble, and it's powered by a 9-volt battery in a compartment that's ac accessible from outside the guitar. This guitar lists for $39.98 and typically would have a street price of around $3,000. So the big question, of course, is what do you do with an eight-string guitar? Uh, quite a bit, I've found out, and I'd like to demonstrate a few things that I've come up with and uh, learned that I could do with this guitar during the course of this demo. But first, uh, I'd just like to say that this guitar is, is actually uh, amazingly easy to play, even with the heavy strings. It's really not that much harder to play than an uh, average six-string guitar. Uh, I think it's in part because it's a little bit shorter scale than many baritones. 27 inches is on the short side for a baritone. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the neck is Taylor's neck, and there's the legendary Taylor playability that's at play here. Also, uh, there's only two pairs of doubled strings uh, compared to a 12-string guitar, um, so there's a lot less tension than you would have on a 12-string guitar. And yet, as we'll see, we get a lot of the 12-string sound out of this instrument. The easiest and perhaps most obvious way to use this instrument is for accompaniment. And I, I think the lower range will make a lot of singers happy if you're tired of hitting some high notes. You can play your tunes exactly the way you always did. You'll just sound a fourth lower, be a little easier to, to uh, sing, and also have a little more uh, low end, and also a little bit of a 12-string type effect in the middle. So let's take a look at a finger-picking style accompaniment first. So what's cool there is that I don't have to change anything. I just get a bigger, deeper sound. And uh, I can emphasize those middle strings and get a 12-string type effect. I've got my nice, deep uh, bass lines that I can play. And really don't have to change anything. And I just have a new set of colors to work with. The guitar works great strummed as well, of course. Uh, let's listen to an accompaniment type of uh, strummed pattern. So uh, that works really well. It's just a huge sound. Uh, it almost sounds like a 12 string, even though you've only got two doubled strings. Uh, a huge range between the bass and the high notes just creates a wall of sound, making this a great rhythm guitar. Uh, once you move beyond accompaniment, the baritone 8 can really start to spark some interesting ideas. Uh, so for example, anything with a bass line is going to sound really nice with these low bass. Uh, something like this. With the high strings in the middle, you still get some high notes in your voices, so you don't have the muddiness often associated with the baritone, but you've got the deep bass of a baritone, almost a bass. Uh, the other thing that, uh, another thing that I've been looking at with this guitar is I've been thinking about the guitar as uh, consisting of three different zones. You've got the high strings, undoubled, and those are really great for fat, juicy trebles for playing melody, like this. Thank you. 
And then of course we've got our two bass strings down here. We could think of those as our bass player, the bass zone, and to add that in. And that leaves the last zone, which is the doubled strings in the middle. And I'm thinking of those as a, a wall of sound, a wash, kind of the accompaniment in the middle. Let's add those in. Another thing that's interesting about the baritone, um, the baritone 8, I think is that because the strings are a little bit heavier than a 12 string, it's a little bit easier on the doubled strings to control how much of the effect you get. For example, if I pick up uh, lightly on the third string, I'll just get the lower of the pair. But if I dig in a little, I'll get the 12 string effect. And the same thing with going down. If I pick lightly, I can just get the, uh, the high string. And if I dig in a little more, I get uh, the, the full 12 string effect. There's also quite a difference between picking up and picking down. So you can work that into an arrangement and really take advantage of a huge range of colors just with one string uh, with how you pick. I mentioned earlier that this guitar has Taylor's Expression System Electronics built in. So let's take a quick look at what that sounds like. Uh, with this low, with the low range of this guitar, it's of course amazing to play through a full range PA system, uh, preferably with subwoofers to really get the effect. But uh, even through a small amp, I'm impressed with the clarity of the bass notes, and it does quite well. I'm going to play this through an AER Acoustic Cube, small combo amp, and uh, I've been recording this through a Zoom uh, H4 recorder, and I'm just going to move the recorder over in front of the amp so that, uh, that we hear just the amplifier. So that's the Taylor 8-string baritone guitar. It's a unique instrument that has the potential to expand the tonal palette of players of many different styles. You can read my review in the April 2010 issue of Acoustic Guitar or online at AcousticGuitar.com. For Acoustic Guitar, I'm Doug Young.